The man accused of killing a Brooklyn Park daycare owner and her elderly parents is now facing first-degree murder charges. Thursday, a Hennepin County grand jury indicted 34-year-old Eddie Mosley on nine counts of first-degree murder for the deaths of DeLois Brown and James and Clover Bolden. Mosley was back in court this afternoon, and our Renee Bonneau was there, and she joins us now with more. Renee? Mike and Alex, about a dozen of the victim's family members were also in court as Eddie Mosley made his first court appearance on the indictment. I think he's stone. I, I th it's more like looking at stone. I'm not reading a lot of emotion. Eddie Mosley made a last-minute court appearance Friday in light of new charges made against him. For each of the three victims, he was indicted for premeditated first-degree murder, also for committing murder during a burglary, and for doing so while possessing a gun. If convicted, Mosley faces life in prison without parole. The victim's family says they're pleased with the upgraded charges. This person is dangerous. Something is seriously wrong in, in, in someone that could do something like this. Uh, so I, I think life without parole and is, is, is the best idea. According to court documents, Mosley drove to Brooklyn Park from St. Louis, Missouri to kill his teenage niece who had accused him of sexual assault. Mosley knew the girl used to go to DeLois Brown's in-home daycare in the mornings. When he entered the home the morning of April 9th and didn't find the girl, he instead shot and killed DeLois Brown and her elderly parents. James Bolden says every time Mosley has a hearing, their surviving family members will be there. Our emotions are uh, all over the place and we're trying to do the right thing by our parents and our, our, our family members, just trying to make sure that we, we're doing what they would appreciate from us. And, and, and that's being here every time the door opens and he comes out into the courtroom. Mosley be, is being held in the Hennepin County Jail. His bail remains at $6 million. He is due back in court in September. Mike and Alex. All right, thanks a lot. Renee Bonneau reporting.